हेलो एवरीवन वंस अगेन वेलकम टू ट्रूबल शूटिंग सीरीज गाइस टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड इथर चैनल ट्रूबल शूटिंग राइट सो दिस इज माय टोपोलॉजी हियर यू कैन सी आई हैव टू स्विच स्विच वन एंड स्विच टू बिटवीन स्विचेस आई हैव कनेक्टेड फोर इथर नेट लिंक एंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ इथर चैनल आई हैव एग्रीगेट दीज ऑल लिंक्स टुगेदर राइट आई हैव बंडल दीज ऑल लिंक टुगेदर राइट वट इज इथर चैनल इथर चैनल इज एन टेक्नोलॉजी विच इज यूज टू बंडल मल्टीपल फिजिकल लिंक इन टू अ सिंगल लॉजिकल लिंक राइट सो आई हैव क्रिएटेड वन लॉजिकल लिंक बिटवीन स्विचेज राइट सो दैट आई कैन गेट मोर बैंड विथ बिटवीन स्विचेज ओके एंड आई हैव कनेक्टेड टू कंप्यूटर पी सी वन एंड पी सी टू PC1 is connected with switch 1 PC2 is connected with switch 2 here i am running ip 10.1.1 here i am running ip 10.1.1.2 the problem is 10.1.1 is not able to ping 10.1.1.2 let me show you and then i will show you troubleshooting step so on PC1 if you will run command so ip here you can see i have configured ip 10.1.1 with slash 24 in the same one on PC number 2 also you can check the ip address okay so if i will ping from pc1 to pc2 see i am not able to ping what error i am getting i am getting error host not reachable fine so i need to troubleshoot it so let us start troubleshooting from switch number 1 guys first thing that i will check is in ether channel as you know we have three method to configure ether channel first one is static and we have two modes in static right uh, sorry we have only one mode in static that is on mode on both side if you want to form ether channel if you want to configure ether channel we have to set mode on to configure static ether channel second one is pagp right in pagp we have two mode desirable and auto desirable is similar like uh, dynamic desirable in gtp right it will always uh, initiate the negotiation of Uh, of ether channel right and third method is lacp right in lacp again we have two modes that is one is active and one is passive so i will check that on both side i am running same protocol or not suppose i am uh, here on switch number 1 i am uh, configuring ether channel with on mode so on switch number 2 also i have to configure on mode right that uh, then only ether channel will work if switch 1 i am config i am using pagp to form ether channel then on switch 2 also i have to use pagp if i am using lacp on switch 1 then here also i need to use lacp then only ether channel will work so this is the first troubleshooting step step number 1 will be what in step 1 we will check the method to configure ether channel step number 2 if both side i have configured same protocol then i will check what you know there are some requirement of ether channel like um if you are aggregating four links together so all links should be trunk or all links should be access either all link can be access or either one all link can be trunk right uh, if uh, suppose 0/0 slash is trunk and 0/1 is access then ether channel will not work as you know fine after that third requirement is a speed of all ports must match a speed so we will check a speed as well then duplexy must match duplexy of all interfaces must match all ports must match then only ether channel will work right so suppose i uh, duplexy of this interface is full duplex so all interfaces duplexes should be what full duplex then only ether channel will work after that next requirement is what suppose these are trunk link so encapsulation protocol must match right as you know we have two types of encapsulation protocol on trunk link isl and dot 1q so suppose i am using dot 1q protocol for encapsulation or trunk link so encapsulation protocol on all link must match must be same then only ether channel will work right and next requirement is ethernet standard right so suppose this is your ethernet link and this is your fast ethernet link then also uh, ether channel will not work even you will change the speed right if you will configure same speed then also ether channel will not work because standard on ethernet port is different standard on fast ethernet port is different so standard also must match okay so these are requirement basic requirement of ether channel so we are going to check these things let me start from switch number 1 so uh, 
uh, let me take you on switch one and here first thing that i will check is mode so ether channel protocol so ether channel protocol by running this command we can check the protocol so here you are able to see protocol mode is on that means here i have configured ether channel static let me check on switch number two also because this is the first requirement that mode must match protocol must match so ether channel protocol and here also you can see mode is on so on both side i have configured same mode now next thing that you will check is port protocol protocol of the port channel is uh, working fine or not so let me run so ip interface brief command and here you are able to see i have created one port channel group number one and the status is up protocol is also up but still ether channel between switches is not working that's why pc are not able to communicate with each other right on switch number two also you will run command so ip interface brief and here you can see i have configured port channel group number two so group number is locally significant this is no problem we can configure anything on switch one and anything on switch two this is locally significant here also status is up and protocol is also up so what is the problem then next thing that you will check is first thing you will check mode then you will check what port status and port protocol if status and protocol both are up that means definitely there is some problem with the requirement of ether channel so you will run command you will run one command like this so ether channel summary right to check that how many ports i have aggregated in in port channel one so so ether channel summary so here you can see i have created one group number one port channel one and i have bundled these link right zero slash zero zero slash one zero slash two zero slash three okay it's fine over here let me check on switch two also so ether channel summary here also you can see i have bundled these four link together it's fine now next thing that you will check is the speed and duplexy so so ether channel after that you can run command detail right to check detailed information of port channel so let me run this command and here you can see port ethernet 0 slash 0 group number is 1 mode is on okay this is fine but here you can see the problem reason is what duplex of ethernet 0 slash 0 is half and ethernet 0 slash 1 is full right so this is problem on 0 slash 0 i have configured half duplex and on 0 slash 1 i have configured duplex full on next interface on 0 slash 0 i have configured full right how we you will check it you will run command like so interface e 0 slash 0 right and if you will put switch port over here right let me run this command so interface ethernet 0 slash 0 switch port here also you are able to see operational mode of this interface is down right suspended number of bundle port channel group one right so let me run this command so interface ethernet 0 slash 0 to check duplexy here you can see duplexy is what half duplex so this is the problem this is the reason why pcs are not able to communicate with each other if you will check duplexy on ethernet 0 slash 1 here you can see duplexy is full full duplex right if you will check it on 0 slash 3 you can see duplexy is full if you will check on 0 slash 2 also you can see duplexy is full that means problem is where problem is on ethernet 0 slash 0 engineer have configured half duplex so let me correct it go to interface ethernet 0 slash 0 and say duplex full right either we can configure full duplex on all interfaces or i can configure half duplex on all interfaces okay and now you can see ethernet 0 slash 0 change state to up so now if you will verify this interface by running this command here you can see more duplexy is now full duplex and if you will run switch port so here you can see now operational mode of this interface is what a static access and number of bundle is 
PO1 fine so now if I will ping let me check that now I am able to ping or not so let me take you on PC1 let me ping yeah now you can see I am able to ping okay guys so this is very basic troubleshooting of ether channel in next video I will show you another problem that can be occur in ether channel right and how to troubleshoot that also okay uh, maybe we will discuss about the encapsulation protocol mismatch okay so this is first video of ether channel troubleshooting so today in this video I am not going to discuss anything else if you have learned something from this video guys please hit on like button if you haven't subscribed my channel and if you want to watch this type of video please subscribe this channel so that whenever i will upload next video you will get notification okay that's all for today bye bye thanks for watching we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe